if down uh, so you put if then in brackets you put down and then two equals 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 one and then you close the bracket so it says if down equals equals one then open curly brackets so that means then uh, elev is equal to less than the average of the hydraulic because you want it to pull up so I think the average was 10 so I'm going to make it 5 there we go and let's see if the elevator works well only for up okay now you put um, else if or you know what just just put if for now we use else if a bit later if and then you um, open brackets again up equals equals one close brackets open curly brackets elev equals more than the average so if it was 10 it's, it's going to be 16 now so close curly brackets now let's do the elevators ach, ach I mean the ailerons okay then you put if um, ach, else if sorry else if as that means if it's not down or up then it's got to be neutral uh, else if you c then you open brackets you put down equals equals zero and space up equals equals zero close brackets open curly br then you put um, elev equals the average which is 10 for me for you it will be different so just put that in and there we go so then we say if open brackets uh, left equals equals one close brackets open curly brackets uh, left L so lel equals uh, what is the average five so lel equals let's say seven and then just put a space then you write right aileron so rail equals uh, less than the average so let's make it two so in other words the one aileron will go up the other aileron will go down now you put um, if right equals equals one oh, there we go then open curly brackets and uh, basically I'm just gonna copy this that I wrote here because it's the same but it's just swapped so paste that so lail is equal to two now and rail is equal to seven then again you write else if so it means else if, otherwise uh, if it's not like that, uh, if right, e uh, uh, yeah, right equals equals zero, space, uh, and yeah, sorry, you have to put an and, and left equals equals zero. So, sorry, just put a. Uh, just put an AND between the down equals equals zero and the up equals equals zero in the else if statement above as well because otherwise it's going to neutralize the aileron if not both of them are zero so that means right equals equals zero uh, and if a left is equal to zero uh, now after you've written the else if for the right and left you open curly brackets and you say lail is equal to the average which is 5 and rail is equal to the average which is 5 and this time you just put a space in between because it's going to execute both of those things and then then the aileron should be leveled out when you don't press any controls so let's upload that oh. now you have to wire it so this is this is kind of tricky because sometimes you swap around the aileron's and so on and you just swap them back if it's the reverse way so we go to wiring tool wire advanced you go to the expression and you link down to 8 
which is over there. And you link up, up, you link to two, because you pull up. And uh, right, you link to uh, yeah, six. And you link, you just link those up to the to the uh, directions on the expression. Then you go to the hydraulics. So let's say this one is left. We can swap them around if it's wrong. Length goes to lail. Uh, this one, which is the other aileron, goes to rail. And the last one goes to elevator. Okay, I've linked it up. Now look at the elevator. It works, but it's uh, it's hanging down. The average is, is too little. So I have to increase or decrease the average to make the ele elevator pull up. Just to show you, it works. There we go. And uh, for the ailerons, they also work, but they're hanging a bit down. And they were the right way around. But yeah, it works. So, so I'm just going to increase the average for the elevator uh, for the ailerons and decrease the average for the elevator so it pulls it straight. And uh, remember that this aileron was longer than that aileron, or oh, well the hydraulics were. So you might have to increase the average of the one a little bit more than the other. But you can see that the elevator is perfectly straight now, or just pulls up a little bit over there. And the, uh, this aileron is nice and straight, but this aileron is a bit down, so I have to increase that one's average a little bit. But I'm going to fly it just like this, and I'll just, I'll just correct it with the numpad. Oh yeah, sorry, there's one more thing that we have to do. Actually, two more. A very important thing is that we have to actually apply fin tool to the ailerons. That one already has fin tool. And then secondly, because the fin tool is very strong on the wing tips on these and that one, that means that it won't roll very easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the fin quite a lot on these and then increase the fin very much on the middle one. So in other words, it's going to roll much more easily. Okay, fin settings for ailerons is no lift, no thermal incline, and about 35, 35% 35 uh, um, efficiency. Okay, that um, before you try and fly anything, See, I'm not, I'm not touching the controls. Make the aircraft fly by itself first. Adjust everything so it flies by itself. Now, I have a problem with the elevator by it spazzing out a little. So I'm just going to make its weight a little bit more so it can handle the hydraulics um, strength. But I'm going to throw it and you'll see it still flies by itself. See, I'm not controlling it, although the elevator is flopping around. Because uh, if, if, if something can't fly by itself without any controls, it's going to be very um, hard to actually fly it yourself. And uh, uh, whenever you attach something to the back of the plane over here, uh, remember this long body part here is about six times as long as this small body part there. So if you add a 10 weight over there, the weight in front has to be 60 weight to account for it. So uh, because of leverage. So if you attach a 10 weight to the back, the front weight has to be changed up 60. You'll see it, it doesn't have a problem with the um, elevator flopping around anymore. So eventually I had to make the can in the front a hundred weight. So let's see if I can control it. Oh yeah, it works. Roll, elevator, everything. I'm going to mount a camera to the back so you can see it fly. When you mount a camera, don't place the camera over here. Because then that means you'll always look at the ground. Place the camera as far Oh uh, well, I mean as down as you can, so you look straight where the plane is going. And place mine there. Oops. And change the weight of the camera to 0 0.1, otherwise you're going to have trouble. Okay, let's go throw it off the hang glider ramp again. And this time I have a camera attached to it. Uh, the roll, the roll is very nippy, so I might change the um, I hydraulics length for the ailerons. But uh, then I can't do a barrel roll, so let's throw it into the camera. You can see elevator, elevator works, roll, see, oh, ooh, that's nippy. Do a barrel roll, Whoa. oh, I did it, and crash. I'm still going, I'm still going, uh, splosh, and it sinks, that's new. 
actually no it doesn't sync for some other reason the wood at the back is enough to make it float about this much under the surface which does not make sense but anyway I'm gonna try and do a loop although I've seen that the fin isn't really a lot on the wings so uh, I might stall it very easily so I'm gonna do a loop and then that's the end of the tutorial because I think I'm on my tenth video already okay here we go loop swoosh okay down pick up speed oh I can't go more down than that okay pull up no the elevator isn't strong enough I can just change the elevator, it'll probably do something. But I can do barrel rolls. See? Ow. <laughs>